Welcome guys and today I'm going to do another one of our Cisco practice questions chapters and today I'll be doing troubleshooting. Very very short chapter this one, it's only two questions long so uh, I'll try and explain them. We'll move into the first one. Uh, Sue is unable to surf the internet and calls you over to her desk to troubleshoot. Use IP config on the system and notice the following IP configuration. What is the problem? So we've got a LAN, which is IPv4, and then that address, that subnet mask, and weirdly enough, nothing in default gateway, which I find a little bit strange. Um, this doesn't have too much to do with DNS, so we can rule that at one out. Uh, the subnet mask is incorrect. Uh, tough to say, really. The router is down. I could nearly go for that because the default gateway doesn't show up, which is kind of weird. Or the DHCP server is down. Now looking at this one, um, we've got an IP before address of this, which is a private address, a PIPA, I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, generally we're supposed to have uh, like a 192 or a 10.000 network, but we have an, a PIPA address or a private IP address, normally just a normal home address is fine. And in this case, uh, if it's inside an address like that, it generally means there's a problem with the DHCP server. So the answer is D, DHCP server is down. Next one we've got, Bob is unable to surf the internet and calls you over to his desk to troubleshoot. You use IP config on the system and notice the following IP configuration. What should you do? And again, we've got a similar prompt here. We've got IPv4 address, subnet mask and default gateway. And uh, let's just go through these ones. So. Change his IP address to that, uh, 19169. Uh, no, because of the way the subnet mask is assigned. But um, yeah, this is a bit of subnetting. I'm not the best at subnetting. But uh, we've got B, which is a possibility. And we've got C, the subnet mask should be something else. I tend to not lean towards that. Uh, remove his default gateway setting. Uh, I wouldn't recommend that because it looks as though it's on the right network. 192.19, 192.19, so it looks about right. Uh, going by the subnet mask, we've got three lots of 255s, and um, the answer is B on, in this occasion. So if we change it to a zero, C, here we've got three 255s. The default gateway starts like that. So that means any net, any uh, IP address in this network, the first three categories here are assigned to 192.19.0 as suggested by the subnet mask over here. So we've got 3255. So that occupies those three, which therefore means B is the answer. He needs to change his IP address to that because that 210 is completely incorrect as suggested by the subnet mask. That was a quick one, guys. Uh, that's all for today. It was a pretty quick one on uh, troubleshooting. So thanks for listening in. And don't forget to give the video a like, share it around. And don't forget to check out my other videos as well. It'll be fantastic. Uh, thanks for listening in. And I'll see you guys next time.